kind of joint is this, man? Oh, it's a heavy duty joint, man. Oh, it looks like a toothpick, man. No, it's not a toothpick, man. No, hey, it is a toothpick, man. The 70s weren't just a time for platform shoes and disco. How do I fit in? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 comedies of the 1970s. For our series on the top comedies of all time, we've chosen comedy films per decade based on their iconic status, critical acclaim, box office success, watchability, and of course, how funny they are. Who are you? We are the knights who say... Nee. No, nee. not the knights who say me. Nee. The same! This is part of a series of videos spanning the decades of comedic films from the 1930s to the 2000s. All right, I don't know who the hell you are, um, but I, sit down and shut up. Number 10, The Bad News Bears. Wow. Now we're getting somewhere. Sports and comedy are a perfect combination, and this film is solid proof of that. Walter Matthau is the showrunner here, and he's just as surly and sarcastic as ever. All right, all right. I'm an asshole. Go ahead and yell. Get it off your chests. The heart of the Bad News Bears is in his relationship with the ragtag bunch of kids who make up the baseball team. Mr. Firemaker! But oh, I wanna, I'm on your team. Yes, you know, yes, I'm tower. Everyone plays his or her role to perfection, and Mathau's relationship with the only girl on the team is oh so sweet. I beg your pardon, there's an ounce of fat on me. Despite the movie's hard exterior. Uh, I'm zero for 14 this season, and uh, aside from Timmy Lupus, I'm probably the worst player in this league. If you do me a favor, Ogilvy, just shut up and get up to the plate and try to hit the ball. Number nine, slap shot. Uh, what is high sticking? High sticking happen when uh, the guy take the stick, you know, when he go like that. You know, you don't do that. You don't do that. Oh no, never, never. When fight-oriented hockey was at its peak in the 1970s, this movie skated up to poke loving fun at the players and fans that thought violence was more important than good, clean fun. Dave's a killer! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. He's a killer! He's a mess! Yeah. Starring Paul Newman and Michael Ontkeen, Slapshot proves to be both hilarious and action-packed at the same time. You guys are Hansons. The machine took my quarter! It's fun, vulgar, and everything you'd want from a hockey flick. My allergy to those fans, you know? Has returned. The movie even inspired its own genre of slapstick sports comedies that continues to endure today. Oh, Come on, the three of you guys, you put one thing, you're out of this game. Now I run a clean game here, I have any trouble, I'll suspend. I'm looking at a f***ing song! Number eight, Annie Hall. 21 was my first play. You know, you know, you're always trying to get things to come out perfect in art because uh, it's real difficult in life. Considered by many to be Woody Allen's best film, Annie Hall is a heartfelt story of two people who can't seem to commit to their relationship. Hey, don't knock masturbation. It's sex with someone I love. The comedy comes from the little instances and arguments found in all relationships, along with the injections of neuroticism and biting social commentary that Allen has come to be known for. Well, I'm sorry. I, I can't. I'm, I, I've got to see a picture exactly from the start to the finish because I'm anal. While not an all-out slapstick, it's definitely a romantic comedy with a fair bit of hilariousness, especially in the scenes where Woody Allen breaks the fourth wall. What I as opposed give to for a like, large sock as with horse manure in it. Which is essentially what linear. do you do when you get stuck or, on a movie line with a guy like this behind you? Wait a minute, why can't I give my maddening. opinion? It's a free country. Six to eight hours a day down by the mango tree. Dang it, you dang it, you dang it, you said. Number seven. Meatballs. All right, this is the 14 year old girls' cabin. They've got the drive and the equipment, but they don't have the experience. All right. They better not get it from you guys. If you want a great summer teen comedy without some of the more risque elements usually associated with the genre, then this is the movie for you. I love you. If you love me, come on, you know the words, Rocky. In his first starring role, Bill Murray is memorable as Tripper, a zany camp counselor that everyone comes to love. Oh. Really? Really? Meatballs strays from the sexy tactics used in teen movies and opts instead for a more heartfelt approach. Okay, that's better. While it's still one of the funniest movies from the 70s, it also offers thoughtful commentary on the inevitable end of summer. Thanks, Tripper, for everything. Goodbye, champ. Hit it! Number six, Young Frankenstein. 
If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion sits? Mel Brooks is at it again, and this time he's taking on all the classic horror films. Perhaps I could help you with that hump. What hump? Gene Wilder and Peter Boyle give knee-slapping performances as Dr. Frankenstein. That's Frankenstein. And his abominable creation in Young Frankenstein. Uh, sounds like it! Ben! Uh, Sid! Sid! They're joined by comedy legends Madeline Kahn, Marty Feldman, and Cloris Leachman as well as many others, to deliver a transcendent comedy classic that is still praised to this day. You ain't as scared of a little speed, are you, man? Oh, you got some speed, man? Number five, Up in Smoke. Uh, we were stopping by to see if we could score some smoke, man. You're like, we've been all over the neighborhood, you know, and nobody's gotten none, you know? As far as stoner comedies go, this one was one of the first to break ground in the genre. Uh, well, is it heavy stuff, man? <laughs> Will it blow me away? The big screen debut of stage comedians Cheech and Chong. Up in Smoke was quick to become a cult classic that would define a generation of pot smokers. I just remembered, man, I got some hash. While the storyline isn't particularly deep, Did that really happen? The film more than makes up for it with its comedy sequences. I'm blind! Oh shit, I'm blind! What's up, man? There's some charity people here to see you, sir. No! Send them away! There's a lot of people more deserving than me! Number four. The Jerk. Could there be a god that would let this happen? Steve Martin makes with the funny in this surrealist comedy about the adopted white son of an African-American family who sets out to find his true purpose in life. It's like I don't fit in. It's like I don't belong here. The film doesn't stop for a single second to let the audience catch its breath, and Martin pulls out all the comedic stops to make sure that's the case. You're gonna like it here. Like it? I love it! The jerk takes sharp left turns almost everywhere and brings you into scene after scene of delightful hilarity. She tattooed my name on her ass. I'm not just my name, a lot of names. Martin even takes time out to serenade us with some of his musical stylings. You belong to me. <laughs> Number three, Blazing Saddles. Oh, dearie, dear. Okay. This Mel Brooks classic was one of the first in a long line of spoof comedies that kicked off the legendary director's career. Work, 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 work. Hello, boys. Have a good night's rest. I missed you. A lampoon of old cowboy westerns, Blazing Saddles takes all the tropes and cliches and lovingly pokes fun at them while delivering a satisfying comedy chock full of visual gags, wordy puns, and hilarious dialogue. Throw out your hands, take out your push, hands on your hips. Bart jokes find their place alongside biting political satire. <laughs> and that combination makes for a constantly rewatchable classic. How about more beans, Mr. Tiger? I'd say you've had enough. I give. Number two Animal House. Widely regarded as the epitome of teen sex comedies, National Lampoon's Animal House undoubtedly set a precedent for the gross-out movies that followed and imitated it. I'm a zit. Get it? With characters like the crusty old Dean Wormer. Not another word. And the fun-loving frat boy Otter. What's the matter with everyone around here? Later teen comedies took their cues from this John Landis flick. <laughs> While the laughs come from both lowbrow and more sophisticated comedy, the highlight has got to be John Belushi's performance as the simple yet dedicated Bluto. Ah, thanks. I needed that. Before we unveil our pick for comedy of the 1970s, here are a few honorable mentions. Greet the dawn with a breath of fire. <gasps> From the telephone company, there is something the matter with your phone. My phone? 
that? You said there's something a matter with my phone. Yes. My phone. That is correct, yes. That is what I've been saying. My husband and I haven't eaten or slept since yesterday morning. Go ahead. Hmm? Don't let me fall asleep without eating. I'll never wake up again. Number one, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Hello! Monty Python loves to lampoon history. And they did it again with Life of Brian. There's no Messiah in here! There's a mess, all right, but no Messiah! Now go away! However, it's the Holy Grail that's our pick for their greatest comedy achievement. Now stand aside, worthy adversary. Tis but a scratch. Starting from the memorable opening shot, the movie does offer some of the Python gang's trademark stream of consciousness comedy, but under a more unified theme. Ready? We've got some lovely filth down here! And it's replete with simple sight gags and intellectual humor. The film has deservedly become a classic, and the lines have been endlessly requoted by comedy aficionados everywhere. I fart in your general direction. King Arthur and his knights are mercilessly ridiculed, with the Middle Ages becoming a backdrop for one of the best comedies of all time. Look, that rabbit's got a vicious street a mile wide. It's a killer. Do you agree with our list? I tell you, it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. What's your favorite 1970s comedy? <laughs> for more hilarious top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Oh, 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 o